Coordinator. Sure. Sergeant Robert Hungerford with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Traffic Homicide Unit. Can you spell it again? H-U-N-G-E-R-F-O-R-D. Thank you, sir. So what incident happened today on Highway 5? Okay. Um, this morning, about 1045, officers responded to a rollover traffic crash southbound on I-95. Officers, the first officer on the scene um, stopped northbound in the center breakdown lane next to uh, the grass mm -hmm. and exited his vehicle to check on the, on the first crash. As he did so, a, a community service officer was southbound on I-95 and pulled over in the center breakdown lane as well on the, on the median on the edge of the roadway there. Uh, both the officers um, came down into the little valley. I-95 north and south is separated by a median that's grass. In that area, there's a small valley. They both came down to check on the, uh, the original crash, which was a rollover traffic crash. That driver was fine. Both the CSO and the police officer went back to the CSO's car to start paperwork and to call for a tow truck. As they, that, that vehicle, again, was parked southbound in the center breakdown lane on, next to the median. As they walked back, the driver was making phone calls to their family. They remained by their vehicle out of the vehicle. A second vehicle was southbound on I-95 in the same area, just south of Myrtle Street, about just between the I-10 split and I on I-95. That vehicle lost control, and it spun into the center median, striking both the s community service officer, the police officer, and the driver of the other vehicle. The driver of the secondary vehicle was unharmed. All three of the pedestrians that were out of the vehicles were transported to the hospital. That includes the community service officer, the police officer, and the driver of the original rollover traffic crash. The community service officer and the police officer are in stable condition. They, don't, they are injured. The driver of the original vehicle is in critical condition with life-threatening injuries. Northbound and southbound I-95 is at a crawl right now. Due to onlookers, there's a large police presence. The southbound inside lane of I-95 is blocked. It will remain blocked for probably another two or three hours as we um, process the scene. At this time, there's no indication of any kind of impairment. Uh, I do believe that speed and uh, weather conditions at the time probably played a factor but we will leave that to the detectives to determine and they are out there processing that scene now. And I will take any questions that you have. The driver of the second vehicle that led to the most serious issues here, the injuries to the three people, that driver, are they facing any charges at this point? No, they are cooperating and, um, and is remorseful, is remorseful. Um, it was uh, simply a, an accident. They stated, they, we will be evaluating speed and, uh, and uh, and culpability. At this time, it does not appear that that will be the case, but that could change. When it comes to driving, and you mentioned the weather conditions, at the time, was it raining? It had just finished raining, and it was intermittent all morning. So there could have been, it could have been raining at the time. The driver reported it had just finished, and the road was slick. Obviously, we had two crashes in the same area uh, in a short time frame, so I would say that it was probably, uh, weather was a factor. fantastic opportunity to do so thank you yes ma'am um, when it rains you do need to slow down turn on your lights and use caution just use caution the 10 miles per hour can mean the difference between uh, traffic fatality and an injury a serious injury or a minor injury or not even crashing slowing down but also could they have moved over further away from where those officers were yes when uh, the state law does say that if we have the lights on and we're conducting police uh, uh, business, either a traffic stop or uh, investigating a traffic crash, you're supposed to move over and slow down, I believe, 25 miles per hour. So we would appreciate it if you did that. This keeps safety for everybody. Well, the CSO and the police are, um, officer you said they're stable, uh, but as far as their condition, do we know what their injuries are at this point? I do not have uh, that information to give to you, but it will be coming very soon, and that will be relayed to you from the JSO Public Information Office. Yes, yes, very soon enough they will probably release that. I don't I don't have that to release to you right now. I'm unable to do so. Uh, thank you for your time.